Greetings AMCers, John here and I'm at the uh, beautiful AMC Century City here in Los Angeles and about uh, a week and a half or two weeks ago I had the chance to go to the red carpet premiere in Hollywood of the new Bradley Cooper Robert De Niro film Limitless and I don't mind telling you it's uh, and I've said this before this is my favorite film of 2011 so far and I am thrilled right now to be joined by one of the co-stars of the film Mr. Johnny Whitworth. Johnny how you doing? I'm fantastic, man. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> but just in case you think nothing ever happened to me. Eddie Mora. Hey. Tell me about this book. Well, how much have you written of it? Not one word. Well, I suppose I can help you with that. You know how they say that we can only access 20% of our brain? This lets you access all of it. They've had clinical trials and it's FDA approved. I right, just had a curiosity and that's all. Hey, listen, before we do anything else, for those who might not know much about it, tell us about Limitless. Uh, it's about a, a down-and-out writer played by Bradley Cooper, who plays Eddie Moore. It's based on a book called The Dark Fields, and it's written by uh, Leslie Dixon. Now, it's about this down-and-out writer, and for all intents and purposes, he's a loser. <laughs> and uh, he runs across an old um, buddy slash ex-brother-in-law who he hasn't seen in nine years played by you played by me yeah and, and for all intents and purposes uh, <laughs> he was a loser back then and now he seems to ap appear to have it all together uh, and then he offers the uh he's the one who introduces the nzt which is our drug in the movie that uh the smart drug like viagra on uh, <laughs> for your brain viagra for your, your brain. brain yeah 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 so uh it's about that and um about what what happens to you when uh for me i think it's a, it's a moral thing about uh, you know when you take shortcuts there's uh usually kind of uh bad repercussions and it's, so it's about that now now in the film you get to do pretty much if i'm not mistaken if i remember correctly pretty much all of your scenes with bradley cooper uh, what was it like working with him and and tell us a little bit about the connection you already sort of had with with cooper Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. How'd you know that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, his well, girlfriend, I know a lot. <laughs> Renee, his girlfriend, who I worked with when I was like uh, 18, 19 years old on a, a film previously, uh, and um, he kind of knew all about me, uh, I guess. It was, uh, I guess that's our connection. That was, that, that was weird. That was our connection before the and by film. by Renee, you mean Renee Zellweger? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Renee Zellweger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so we, we did have that connection before, and other than that, we're both actors, and um, we take our, our craft seriously, and he was an excellent uh, craftsman at that, and he was fun to work with. Now, you don't uh, have the chance to actually do any, of the, any scenes with De Niro in this film, but as an actor, what's it like to sit back in a movie theater now, look up on screen, and see yourself in the same film as like a screen icon like Robert De Niro? It's bittersweet, John. It's bittersweet. Um, uh, it's a fantastic thing to be in a movie with Robert De Niro, but it would have been better to uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, but I plan on doing that in the future. But I was watching Inside the Actor's Studio with Bradley Cooper just yesterday, and actually they had a scene, a partial scene from with me and Bradley, and they had a partial scene with him and De Niro. And I thought that was so it's like that was kind of cool yeah by osmosis it's like you're in the same scene yeah That's well awesome. yeah that, yeah that it was kind of in the same crowd you know now it, it was it was uh <laughs> it, it was kind of cool now um you actually just got back from romania where you have been shooting romania and turkey and turkey where i went all around romania and all around turkey Go and ahead. you were shooting ghost rider too for four months four months four months so what's that experience been like uh, it was it was fantastic. I, I mean, we went to places that were just so outstanding and beautiful, in both in both countries, and that you would more than likely not plan your vacation to go to, <laughs> and then once because you wouldn't know about it, not because you wouldn't want to be there. Right. And um, it w I feel very blessed to have gone on that journey. And and if this makes any sense to you, I feel like a better human being from having done it. Uh, I've learned a lot about myself, a lot about the world, and, uh, and, a, and, and a lot about making action movies. Okay, so tell us about the character you play in Ghost Rider 2. 
Uh, well, that's an excellent question, John. <laughs> I mean, let me get to the bottom of that because I, I've been waiting all day for someone to ask me, and I'm glad that you have. Um, uh, Ghost Rider 2, I, I, I played the, um, the villain um, who at the beginning up until like page 70, I am, <laughs> for, <laughs> for all intents and purposes, I'm human. Not a very nice guy. I'm bad. I get turned into, um, for those who read Ghost Rider, the uh, character Blackout. I get turned into him uh, by the devil uh, to complete my job, which is that gives me the, um, the, the, the fortitude <laughs> to fight Ghost Rider um, and the supernatural ability to compete on some level with that, uh, that guy. Well, listen, uh, don't forget, folks, Limitless opens in AMC Theaters everywhere this weekend. Johnny Whitworth, thank you so much for being here, and uh, congratulations on the film. Hey, man. Thank you.